Hey guys, Becky over at 6066 invited me to participate in a collab about frugal summer fun on a budget. And my family is all about the frugal fun. So I've got 11 ideas for you to have frugal summer fun. Now some of these you will have heard before and some of them might be new to you. I hope you can find something in there that will be super fun for you to do the next time you're bored or your kids are bored and you're just looking for something to do. My first one is actually one of my very favorite frugal ways to have date night, but this is also great for kids. I live in Vienna, Virginia, which is right outside Washington, DC. And one of the airports actually takes off over the Potomac River. And at the end of the runway, there's a little park. And what I've discovered in various locations, there are are parks at the end of runways of the airport. So I love to go out there for a date night with a picnic and or to take Molina to watch the planes take off and you sit down on your blanket and the planes take off right over you and it is just the coolest thing ever. And it costs whatever it costs to pack a picnic. My second favorite cheap summer fun activity is going to a splash pad. You know, those little areas that have those little fountains that come up out of the ground to take Melina and let her run around in her bathing suit and just hang out and have a good time. They're everywhere and kids love them. Even if she doesn't have a bathing suit, taking her in her shorts, that is equally as fun. Number three, one of the things I remember doing growing up, we used to go camping a lot, but camping, you have to have a lot of expensive equipment, which Mauricio and I don't have. And sure, we can borrow it and that's okay, but if you damage it, you have to replace it. One of the things that I have thought about doing now that Melina is a little bit older is camping in the car. We have a giant expedition and we can actually go park our car somewhere, you know, a park or wherever you're allowed to park and you make out the bed in the back of the car and y'all sleep in the car. Adults, this is not necessarily comfortable, but it allows your kids some memories. I remember sleeping in the back of my car. I'm not sure why, but I actually have memories of sleeping in the back of our station wagon. And it's just one of those fun things that you don't normally do. Number four is logical. I live just outside Washington, DC. So going to museums and monuments and learning a little bit about history or learning just some of the local culture, everywhere you go has something free to offer. So we plan on doing a lot of that because most of the museums in Washington DC are free. Not all of them, but most of them. Number five is nature walks. Melina loves to go on nature walks and I give her a little bucket to collect things and I make her out a list of all the things that she needs to find and give her a little pen to check it off. So like um, she needs to find one stick in the shape of a Y and one rock and Melina loves nature walks and we have beautiful woods with creeks right around our house. So we do that quite frequently. Number six is local parks and kitty parks. We actually in Great Falls, which is really close to us, there is this amazing park called Clemenjantry. Clementry, I don't know how you say it. It's this long word and it is one of the best parks I have ever seen in my life for kids and so we like to go take drinks sandwiches they have picnic tables and we spend several hours there as long as we can depending on how hot it is if you are looking for parks all you have to do is google parks near me and a whole list will come up and you can see what they have to offer most of them have websites and to find this particular park, I actually Googled best park in Northern Virginia because I was willing to drive a little bit for a good park, but this one's like 10 minutes from my house. The next one is the public library. Melina loves to go to the public library and they actually, during the summer, they have a reading program where somebody comes in and reads stories and you can compete for numbers of books that you read. Melina's a little young for that. She's just learned how to read this year, but over the next couple of years, I anticipate that we will be doing that. 
Now, no frugal summer fun would be a list would be complete without the pool. Now, maybe my neighborhood has a pool, so we have a community pool and we go there. A lot of neighborhoods in Northern Virginia do. And so that is something that we partake of every weekend. It would be, it would be the apocalypse if we didn't go to the pool actually one weekend. If you don't have a pool, I bet one of your friends does. And you can have pool parties and pool parties are free. Usually you just bring some food, to share and just have fun at the pool, hang out in the sun. And if you don't have a pool and don't know anyone that has a pool, the sprinkler is free and it's there and it's right at your house, unless you live in an apartment, then you probably have a pool. <laughs> the next one is probably one of honestly my very, very, very favorite things to do during the summertime. And it's very simple. It's eating outside on the deck. I love to sit and have dinner on the deck, maybe have a glass of wine and talk. And Melina loves to eat it on the deck. She probably actually loves to eat on the deck more than I do. And it's especially fun if Mauricio's been out grilling. So the whole area smells like barbecue. And it's just what I think of when I think of the summer. Number 10, inner tubing. Now this requires that you have some sort of river near you, obviously. Um, we have Harper's Ferry, which is about 40 minutes from my house, and it's got a river with rapids, and you basically can rent inner tubes for just a few bucks for the day, and you get in your inner tubes, and you go down the river. Now, your kids, if you're going to do this with your kids, they need to be able to swim. Life vests are great, but don't put a non-swimming child in a river. It's too dangerous. So we will probably not do this for a couple of years, but when Melina is a strong enough swimmer, we will definitely be taking her out on the river to go inner tubing because it is so much fun. And honestly, some of the places that have inner tubes tubing, they, there are shops along the way that actually sell inner tubes and you can just buy them for a few bucks and inflate them every year. And then it doesn't cost you anything, but we like those huge inner tubes, the ones that you can put like two people in. I think they're probably tractor trailer, uh, tubes for tires. Those are fun. And then the bonus, number 11, this is something that I want to do. We haven't done it yet. It's on my list, but it will require one very long, exhausting day. And that is a day trip to the beach. Now the closest beach to where I live is about three hours away. So it would probably involve us getting up at like five o'clock in the morning, maybe four, getting in the car, maybe putting Melina in the car in her pajamas and driving out to the beach and spending the day at the beach and obviously bringing a cooler and picnic supplies so we don't have to spend any money there and then coming back in the evening. Now, that is a serious long day, but I am so excited to do this because in my mind, what is the summer without the beach? Everybody goes to the beach for the summer, but right now we are getting out of debt and we don't want to spend any extra money. Now, obviously this isn't going to work for those of you in middle America who live, you know, a, a day and a half drive from the beach. But those of you who live in the border edges of the United States that are close to a beach, this is completely doable. And this is something that I really can't wait to do. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this collab. I really enjoyed doing it. Make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel and I'll put up two videos for you to keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!